and then right here again don't use it because right now you don't know what is the enemy jungle you're just always dead here if you don't have it plus mm -hmm. what is the reward here you're saying that you want to get value you're like okay i'm gonna get a lot of value it's like yeah i use e now or i wait 0 0.7 seconds and i use my q whoa so much <laughs> value you know <laughs> it's not it's not like actually i don't think it's that i'm trying to get value it's that i'm trying not to not use my skills you know what i mean i see just to use everything on the wave yeah okay. just like trying to like use all my stuff all the time and just be like fast and efficient and pushing that's that's more like why i'm using it true 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 it's just when you're playing lucian tristana ezreal your dash is very important for you What's going on guys, Vizais here and into today's video we're gonna learn a lot about early game, decision making and AD carry. Specifically, we're gonna learn macro, we're gonna learn when to work, we're gonna learn a bit of wave management. So this, if you are below Grandmaster, this is gonna be a good video for you to learn. So make sure you stick till the end. If you're the first time here, my name is Vizais and I'm an AD carry coach. If you want to make sure you don't miss out any video on this channel, make sure you subscribe, like and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy. Partly one, we just try to get the push. We just try to to kill the minions, which is really good. Let's see what does the first mistake. Two thirty. Oh, okay, yes, I remember this. Okay, so you're just getting passive with the Qs. It's really good, and this is twenty mana. It's twenty eight mana. Gotta be very careful with how you're using your E, because for example here, like this E right here, is super grief. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's completely grief. One, Mauk, I can just go on your ETs under mm -hmm. the tower, but if the Jinx has the Chumpers, they're gonna chunk you consistently. Mm -hmm. Two, we just missed the hook. The Blitzcrank mm -hmm. is unable to do anything. Yeah. Three, even if you chunk Jinx, it's so unworth because you already wasted half of the mana. This is 70 mana, 26 seconds cooldown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three, your blitzing positioning is completely behind of the tower. You're not able to do this. Mm -hmm. Four. There are four minions that are waiting for, for you to be taken. And you're just level two. This is not good. <laughs> Look at this. It's like multiple reasons. And of course, Jinx was griefing and instead of just running because of PTA, she was trying to fight you. And of course, what can you do if uh, Blitzkrieg has no hook and Ezra is walking up when you have minions as Maokai. Well, just yeah. run because you're scared, right? Of course. I mean, obviously. So if they played it. They can't, it can't. Next game, you're going to play against Platinum player that is always aggressive. And guess what? He will punish you, but not because he's mm -hmm. good. Just because this is the only play style he knows. Yeah. 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 So the ease usage in the early game is not there. And of course, look at the Jinx. She's just fighting you and you won. But it's like the fight that you actually follow there on mid lane. It's like, yeah, next game you're going to do the same and you're going to lose the game. So look at your mana right now. If you didn't E, you would have 210 mana, which is huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like half mana. And then here you try to sneak it with the E, right? I think. Or why did you E here? What did I, when did I use it? Look at this. Oh, yeah, I was just trying to get the kill. Like, make no sure worries. Kill. No worries. No worries. You try to get a kill, try to carry. It's a good attitude. No worries. Then you push. Oh, but still got it. Yeah, yeah. Then you push. Oh, no. This is fine. This is okay. You pushed. And then right here. Again, don't use your E. Because right now you don't know what is the enemy jungle. You're just always dead here if you don't have your E. Plus, mm -hmm. what is the reward here? You're saying that you want to get value. You're like, okay, I'm going to get a lot of value. It's like, yeah, I use E now or I wait 0 0.7 seconds and I use my Q. Whoa, so <laughs> much value, you know? <laughs> it's not, it's not like, actually, I don't think it's that I'm trying to get value. It's that I'm trying not to not use my skills. You know what I mean? I see. Just to use everything on the wave. Yeah, okay. just like trying to like use all my stuff all the time and just be like fast and efficient and pushing. That's, that's more like why I'm using it. True, true, true. It's just when you're playing Lucian, Tristana, Ezreal, your dash is very important for you. So, okay, so better to just well save it. Well, more. in general, if you know one, where is the enemy jungle? His exact position, his exact position. Two, Jinx positioning and where she's on the map. Three, Blitzcrank positioning where is you on the map. 
this is fine e this is fine e if there is no threat you're gonna see it in challenger but yeah they're gonna see it in five percent of the challenger games because in five percent of the challenger games the ADK actually knows all of these things yeah because if if jungle is here you're always dead if support is here he always stops your recall Mm -hmm. um, same thing with the ADK and then here you had to push one more so this is why it's good on average to not use your E because if something happens you're fucked now you have no you have no mana because mm -hmm. you wasted for your E you have no E in case you're getting ganked it's over yeah so yeah no, now now I really wish I had my E exactly well you wouldn't anyways use it on the on the wave because you don't know what it's <laughs> blitz now are you an ADK main struggling to make an impact in your games is your damage output disappointingly low, leaving you feeling frustrated and powerless in the role you love? Introducing our specialized coaching program designed to supercharge your educated performance. Imagine a world where your damage, decision making and farming skills are 10 times better and the outcome of your games is no longer left to chance. Meet Chase, just like you, he was once stuck in the same position, facing low damage and inconsistency in his games. Let's see what happened after his coaching experience, from Diamond 4 to Master Tier. Wow! And here is Jordan and Brett, both transformed into formidable AD carry after the coaching session. These success stories aren't just isolated cases, they are a part of a community of over 3,243 players who benefited from the coaching program. If it worked for them, why not for you? Picture yourself as an unstoppable AD carry. It's not a dream, it's your potential with the coaching session. Don't wait any longer, visit Visite.com, book your coaching and become the AD carry the enemy team hates to play against. And now you stayed, but be careful because they're all coming and Blitz is not here. So you gotta just take these two minions and run. You can't take this. Mm -hmm. yeah. This wave is gonna yeah, go yeah. in the tower anyways, even if the minis yep. are. So in, if you're in the situations like this, just kill the minis and just run. Run right yep. away. Like here you're like, okay, but I wanna kill the minis. Okay, no worries, these are gonna die. You have so big wave, you crashed already. Good. Okay, so you went to lane. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. He hooks, he does Uga Booga things, we don't talk about the walking into the trap. Okay, so right here, if you see Blitzcrank just pressing B and your wave is slow pushing into them, so you obviously want the Walling to stay here. One, your wave is slow pushing into them, which is bad for you. Two, you have 300 gold, you can't recall. Three, you don't want to be 1v2. You should ping him right away, but right away means you see him recalling. Okay, ping assistance. Because what we did, look, we waited four seconds. And after we waited four seconds, you're pinging him now. True, mm. but he's in the shop right now. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. the reaction timings of people that are platinum, they are not Gumayushi. So they probably... I, I, have, been, I have been working on my pings, like using the, the all-in ping and everything like that. Um, but yeah, long way to go, I guess. Like. So like, you're saying you're not usually not just like pinging or... No, no, no. I'm, I'm working on it uh, for sure. Okay. Like I'm using the all-in ping and stuff like that, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. it's like it's like a work, work the in progress. The most important but I, I thing see it's is like controlling. It's like controlling your, your. It's like controlling more than one player, like Faker, right? He controls literally everybody on on T one. <clears throat> yeah. So the point is, you need to ping with something because the most important thing is I need to ping the decision so Blitz understands that I need him. Do you ping with mm -hmm. all in with vision with? Okay, that's extra. But I need to ping at the correct time. That's the most important thing. And then he tried to ping, but then unfortunately he wasn't here. Now you're 1v2, so you gotta be very careful if Mokka is in the brushes. And here I told you, okay, let's go for a word. Why, <laughs> why did I say that here in this position? Why did I say go for a word now? Because uh, I got nothing to last hit. True. And there's no vision. True, 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 true. So right now you're actually in a position where you're 1v2. So you can just go for a word because your Warwick is top lane. We're playing weak side right now. So all what you have to do right now is not die. So you have a word and you just play just safe, super safe. I could don't need to do realistically speaking anything. So you just play super safe. So you go there. This is a bit iffy. Where is Maokai? Where is enemy jungle? Mm -hmm. They could but have just been there. Yeah. If you just push this wave and you take this, you stay here, you put here, you run, that's fine. But this is a bit too much, even though the advantage is that you push the wave first. So be very careful with this. And then all what you have to do right now is push and don't die against Maokai. Mm -hmm. And now you just stay max range because they can just go on you. All what they want to do is to go on you. 
So instead of queuing now, you could have queued now when the minion is actually <laughs> low. Yeah, yeah. And you can queue from here, max range, because the range yeah. of the Maokai is this range, so he can just go on you right now. Yeah, yeah. And then we just... Yeah, that's... Uh, the, yeah, yeah, that was bad. And here as well, like, just run, run, run. You know the vehicle is invisible, right, in Huizy? Yeah, no, I know. This this is more like because I was streaming, you know, live. And Look at this. Right now, focused. Viego is here, right? Yeah. He's yeah, invisible. We can but... skip this part. This, I, I don't think I'll... Okay. I don't think I'll make that mistake usually. Okay, 700. Zero, zero. Okay, try to push. Okay, ah, I see. This is a bit... So you had to push, and you had to do it fast. Because of the position of the way being super overextended, and not only that it's overextended, that it's overextending you as well. You ulti, you Q, he hooked, so in this case, you healed, you Q, then you back off, like, you shouldn't, like, the fact that you backed off for the kill, it's okay. It's okay. Mm. This is fine. This is okay. The guy is really now, low, so you back off for run. the kill. This is okay. You try to get a kill, try to last it. But now, yeah. just run. Don't turn back. You're not gonna save Blitz. The fact that you turn back for the kill here is okay. Because the guy is 1 HP. You can literally all attack him mm -hmm. and he's dead. Yeah. And you have your E. Q. But after this, run, 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 run. Because you're like, okay, right. but I'm gonna W first. Then I'm gonna E. And then, okay. But if you W auto attack as well, you're always gonna die here. Mm -hmm. I'm not concerned with this. I'm not concerned with this. Okay, 9 0, zero. I see. So you're playing for Essence Reaver right now. Okay. 9 0 0, 9 0 0, 9 0 0. So now you play for Essence Reaver. You push. This is good. You push the back minions first. Then right now you're like, okay, but I'm not going to recall. Okay, sure, no problem. Then your 1v2, you got to be very careful. You ulted the wave. Okay. This is fine. Get a bit of... Uh, yeah, I shouldn't yeah, like, have taken any damage from Jason. Either, Yes, exactly. And second of all, you shouldn't isolate yourself. Like you're going in the absolute worst position where you're not able to dodge the W of Jinx. Stay yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Just stay yeah, here. Yeah. And if you see Maoka, you just run. Be okay, I'm gonna stay mm -hmm. here and then Yeah, but you're isolating yourself. Yeah, that's some bad habit. And then here, let's see. Let's see if you can E here or not. Let's see. Can you E here or are you just so rooted, no, rooted, 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 rooted. Airborne, rooted, <laughs> just Maokai things. Okay. Yeah, you just. Uh, yeah, I couldn't. For a long time. I was trying to. I was yeah, trying yeah, yeah. To. Here you could still E, like here. Mm -hmm. Because at least you're gonna be here. So if they try to dive you and someone is tanking, you're here and Jinx is here. So I would E right now, like right before I get the. Because yeah. look at the Jinx, you're tanking, you see that? So if you're here, yeah. you're just safe. And the Maokai will never kill me. Yes. Like, then here is when you played for the Essence River and then you just overextended to, to fight on the river. So, like when you have Essence River, like now you, ju you can just recall right away, especially because, like you have it. Just go get it. Yeah, just go get it, especially because the wave is right here. So the Jinx doesn't have enough time because you're going to recall and then when you're going to be here, the wave is going to be in the middle. Then she's going to start pushing, you're going to be here when she's finished pushing. So when you press B, also pay attention to the wave that is incoming mm -hmm. like the position of it and ask mm -hmm. yourself am i gonna be able to die uh, sorry am i gonna lose a lot of waves because i recall now because of course if you have essence river you press b now and the waves are in the middle and you see jinx already starting to push right up when you, you press b then you should consider maybe i should stay okay but in this That's case the wave was wondering really far. Is like when do you what are the reasons for staying when you have a full item back yeah, that would be the reason. So like missing, if, uh, missing a wave. A lot of minions, yeah, missing a lot of minions. Like a wave, yes, is the... What about like fights, like skirmishes and fights? Well, if you have enough mana and HP and they're close to you, you can consider fighting with them, yeah? Staying with mm -hmm. your teammates, if they're close to you. If they're mid lane, or they have low mana, or they're too far, you should not. Like here, you uh -huh. E now. Now you should E, get him into the tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you eat right before, true. But if this is Lee Sin and it goes to you, okay, Lee Sin, come into the tower, follow me. Super important. Because this is a champion mm -hmm. that he just points and clicks double. Like you try to get the timing. Because yeah. he eats just a little bit later. Yeah. He would have died for yeah. sure here. Because you just get him into at the least tower. I was, at least I was trying to do that. Yes, you were trying, so that's good. That's good. And then here you just run. Fortunately, you couldn't do much. And now you do have the SN7 in base. 
-hmm. So you're like, okay, I'm gonna stay because the wave is, is coming into me. True. You're gonna lose the wave if you just recall here. You stay. But now you're staying because you want to get the wave and you want to get the essence river. It's not you're staying because you want to actually, you know, keep being in the lane. No, just want to recall. Like, okay, take this, recall. Take recall, this recall, recall. Yeah. And then recall. The only reason why you would fight is if they're actually inside of a fight that is close to you. But they're not. Mm -hmm. They're not. Look, this is, this is not a fight. I mean, okay, sure, Jinx is hitting and now he's flashing. But realistically speaking, you're here and they're here. Mm -hmm. It's too far from you. Yeah. So you should just ignore this. This was very, this was like an absolute best case scenario. But with this decision making, I believe you're going to have 50% win rate. Like it's going to work. This is the absolute best case scenario. Look, Blitz hit the hook on Jinx. Warwick hit the Azir uh, with the with his ult. This is the absolute best case scenario. Blitz hit the second hook on the on the Jinx. Blitz escaped with 1 HP. This is the absolute best case scenario <laughs> that he can just play this. That's the thing. And then of course, he's... <clears throat> High rolled. So, super, uh, super coin flip. How much DPI you have? Do you have any idea? Mm, I think it's probably 800. Probably like 1200 or 800, yeah. 12, maybe, maybe 1200. 1200? Can you check it? And how much sensitivity do you have in game? I have like multiple Logitech things. Which mouse do you have right now? Oh, sorry. No, just one second. I have Logitech uh, Pro. Pro X super light. Yeah, eleven hundred oh. DPI. Yeah. And in game? In game is like in the middle, fifty percent. Fifty? Fifty percent. Okay. You mean like cursor speed or whatever? E yes, yes, yes. It's fifty, right? Yeah, yeah, fifty. Okay, um, it's reasonable. I think hiring it would be nice because you feel quite slow. Can you check it if it's actually twelve hundred? Yeah, I, I checked it. It's eleven. It's eleven hundred. Exactly. No, no. If it's in the game, it's fifty. If it's fifty in the game. Oh yeah. The mouse oh, speed. Right. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I mean. My camera is fifty-five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, usually increasing the the DPI can uh, actually have impact in the game, like as in you're gonna play better, uh, mm. long term and faster, especially on Ezreal. But twelve hundred. Maybe I would put it on fifteen hundred, or maybe I would have like at least fifty in game. I play with twenty one hundred and uh, forty in game. Mm. But so I have that's... to increase it slowly, right? But... Well, if you put it right now fifteen hundred, I don't think it's like that huge difference. I went from one point six to two point one, so you're in one or two games, you're gonna get used to it. I don't think it's. Five dollars! If you have problems improving and getting better in the game faster but you cannot afford booking coaching on my Patreon, you can access more than 627 VOD reviews, premium videos about how to wave management, mid game macro, and tier lists that will show you the best champions to climb and to improve for your ELO. And these are not on YouTube, this is only on Patreon, they're exclusive. Moreover, you can participate in the free coaching waiting list to get a premium VOD review. I'm giving away two free VOD reviews every single week. All what you need to do is simply simple two-step process. Subscribe to my Patreon and share your OPGG and voila, you are on the waiting list. You're gonna get a personalized VOD review for any game in your match history. For just $5, you get not only the free VOD review, but a whole bunch of exclusive benefits that will supercharge your gaming experience. It's a small investment for a big return. And it's just $5, it's no brainer, right? But here is the deal, you've got to act quickly. The waiting list is already filling up fast. 55 people already subscribed to the Patreon and there are six people that they already are on board, they are on the waiting list. And more are joining every moment. Now, do you wanna secure your spot for a free VOD review? Go ahead on my Patreon and reserve it right now.